Hello everyone, welcome back to the database tutorials. Today's tutorial is about using combo box and list box with the database. Now, uh, to test our work, we are going to use a simple database, and this database contains two tables. The first table is called department, it contains department names. Okay, so we have this column, uh, it only contains a list of all departments available. The second table uh, it's called EMP, it contains the ID of the employee, the employee name, the phone number, salary, notes, and the department name. Obviously, the department name value comes from the department's table. Okay? Okay. So, uh, this is pretty much it. Let's check our project. Now, I've created this simple project and uh, I have this data source, I added the database um, and created a data source for it uh, I made sure that I selected both tables okay so now uh, so that I can access both tables here okay so first thing before we do anything I would like to show you how to bind the list box and the combo box the binding is pretty e uh, pretty much uh, very simple uh, two or three steps so now uh, we're gonna use a combo box and where's the list box where's the list box and this list box okay so this is the list box anyway both of these we are gonna use them to full uh, sorry to display the uh, department's table okay just for test so click on this arrow okay you can use the properties window okay uh, to do the same thing but this is faster because it gives you the most important property uh, put, uh, check this one and you'll get all these uh, the important properties data source as with the text boxes and data grid control you are going to use uh, specify which table you are getting the information from it's the department table and display member uh, the list box displays the content of one column so which column do you want to display its department name okay uh, so this, uh, the rest of the properties we're gonna see later what they are used for okay now the combo box is uh, similar uh, we're gonna specify its data source departments and the data number is the department name okay so let's see if it works uh, and this is it as you can see okay now uh, I'm gonna remove the, these and we are gonna create a quick form here now uh, change this to details okay and uh, yeah so I'm gonna drag this and drop it on the form okay now uh, Okay, uh, I think. Hmm. There's no binding navigator. Okay, I don't know why. But anyway, uh, there's a binding navigator. Um, gonna draw it here. And the binding navigator is. Let me see where is that. Uh, binding source. Uh, I'm gonna link it into the employees table. Okay. So, first thing, I'm gonna see if it works. Okay, so as you can see, it works. Now, if we want to change the information here, uh, we are not. We want to pick the value of from the department's table um, and put it into the department name. We don't want to write text like this, okay? Uh, be because uh, the, uh, the this will not be something valid. Okay, uh, to do so, okay, I'm gonna remove this one. Okay, I'm gonna place, um, let's say, a, a list box so that we can see all the values. Now, click on this one, use data bound. Now we're gonna select the department's table. Now the property we're gonna display is department name. Now, uh, this is the property being displayed, but which property from the department table we are gonna store? we are gonna store the department name 
uh, it might seem confusing but if your table contains more than one column you can display one of the columns and use the value of another column uh, okay now the, se the selected value means uh, where is this value being stored this value is going to be stored into the employees department name okay so we are d displaying the department table okay we are displaying the department name and we are getting the department name property to store it into the de uh, into the employee table okay so this is it uh, now let's run the code and see okay so now we have the first one is for marketing second one customer care and so on now if we want to change the property of anyone you just click here and uh, if we go back so we can see John now is customer care if we go to for example Todd now Todd is marketing uh, let's make them all marketing okay and okay okay so now I made them all marketing now if I navigate I see they are all changed to marketing okay so it's as simple as that um, same thing goes for combo box so I'm gonna select and remove this one and where is the combo box let me see combo 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 there's a combo box we draw one here okay this is the combo box okay so again we're gonna click here use data bound we are gonna display the information that are uh, that is stored in the department table we are gonna display the column department name and we will get the value in the department name and store it into the employees table department name column okay that's it and now we run this code and this is marketing you can see now we can change this okay it's as simple as that okay so uh, this is uh, pretty much how you can uh, uh, do it it's not that difficult uh, I hope you'll go you guys will find this uh, easy to use and useful uh, hopefully next uh, tutorial we are gonna start working with uh, some code and understand some of the components uh, like commands and uh, wh uh, what they do how we can uh, display a set of information stuff like that okay so uh, that will be all for today uh, okay so see you soon have a nice day bye bye